very good morning everyone good morning sir सच जो दे रेस्पॉन्ड Yes, sir. Oh, test is wrong, huh? Yes, sir. It was the last uh, GD test paper answer case. Okay. After this, I will send both these. Yeah. Yes, sir. So, okay, students. So today our next topic is. Fraction. refraction of light so what is the refraction of light bending nature of the light when it travel from one medium to the another medium bending nature of light bending nature of light when it travels from one medium to another medium so for example just imagine is any interface this is one uh, bucket or one vessel i have taken filled with water here how many media are present two media one is air and other one is water which is denser medium water is denser medium air is rarer medium so sir if you place any coin or any point source of light inside the water 
What will happen? Tell me. One ray of light will fall like this. Am I clear? Whenever it travel from denser to rarer, what will happen? Its speed will increase. No? As I was saying, light you have to treat like a group of elastic particle. Uh, in which medium you will walk, uh, you will run very fast. Water or air? Air, air you will run very slower, no? So light also travels slowly in the water medium, a denser medium. Is my point clear, friends? Say yes or no? So it is, uh, it is experimentally uh, noted that speed of the water, speed of the light in the water medium, speed of light in water, it is experimentally discovered that it is 3 into 10 power 8 whole divided by 4 by 3. Is my point clear? If you simplify, that is 9 by 4 into 10 power 8 meters per second. 4 ones are 4, 2s are 8. And uh, what do we say this one? Then 4 twos are 8, and 4 fives are 20. So, experimentally, practically, it is discovered that speed of the light in the water is 10 power 8 meters per second. This factor, the factor in the denominator is called a refractive index of the water. What is that? Refractive index. The refractive index of water. That is how much? 4 by 3. Similarly, similarly, speed of light in air, uh, speed of light in air, it was observed that how much? 3 into 10 power 8 meters per second divided by 1. So the refractive index for air, how much? This factor is 1, then by Am I clear, students? Am I clear? Yes, similarly, sir. similarly, speed of light in glass. That is how much V is equal to 3 into 10 power 8 divided by 1.5, then by so this 1.5 is nothing but refractive index of the glass medium. That is how much? 1.5. What is the speed of the sound in the glass? 2 into 10 power 8 meters per second. Am I clear all of you? Am I clear or not? So, this ray is called incident ray. This point is called point of incidence. Whenever the uh, ray of light is changing from denser medium to rarer medium, it was discovered that speed will increase, so it will deviate more. This is called refracted ray. The angle between refracted ray and normal line is called angle of refraction. And the angle between incident ray and normal line is called what here? Angle of incidence. And here one very, very important note here. Very, very important note. When light travels from denser to rarer, what happens? Two points. When light travels, when light travels from denser to rarer, tell me what happens? Speed will increase. 
Am I right or wrong? Speed will increase. That is the point number one. And also, angle of refraction is more than angle of incidence. So my point clear. And also, the first medium. Which is the first medium? It's a very important uh, statement, student. In the entire refraction. Judgment of first medium, second medium is very, very important. What is the first medium? I'm asking you, what is the first medium here? Water. Water. Water is the first medium. Water is the first medium. I mean, mu1 equal to 4 by 3. And the air is what here? Other medium is second medium. This is any coin and when the light travels from denser to rarer, so it bends away from the normal light. I mean, if you notice this, 4 by 3 means 1.33, where the refract index is more, less angle is there, where refract index is very small, Angle of refraction is very big. Have you noted on? Yes, sir. No. Yes, sir. So that uh, relation in refract index is inversely proportional to angle. Or as I talking, these are all our paraaxial rays. Paraaxial rays means theta values are very very small. So, you can use small approximation rule. What is the small approximation rule? Sign it, I can write it as theta, I can write now. Yes or no? So, mu is proportional to sign it, I can write. I mean, the product of refract index and sign it, I equal to how much? Always constant. I mean, mu1 into sin theta 1 equal to how much? 2 to into sin theta 2. This is only called Snell's law. Very important law. Snell's law of refraction. Snell's law of refraction. Snell's law of refraction. Snell's law of refraction. Mu1 into theta1 is nothing but sine angle of instance equal to sine angle of refraction. This is a standard formula for the Snell's law of refraction. It is not only for two media. Multiple media also it is valid. For example, if you see here, uh, I have taken some glass medium, mu1. Above, I fill with water, mu2. Above, air is there. Air means what? Mu2. So, this is the incident ray. And uh, the ray of light will refract like this. See, like this. So, this is I1, this is I2, this is I3. So, what I can write? This is I1, I2, this is what I3. Like that, uh, how we can apply the Snell's law of refraction? You want into sin i1 equal to mu2 into sin i2 equal to how much? mu3 into sin i3 and so on. How many media are there? You can apply the Snell's law of refraction. Is my point clear, everyone? Say sir. One small statement about the refract index of a medium. Refractive index of medium. 
how will you define that is the speed of light in air by speed of light in media speed of light in air speed of light in air divided by what here tell me speed of light in medium i am requesting everyone to remember at your fingertips my point clear everyone let us see how to identify images are formed images are formed due to refraction refraction at the surface at flat interface very very important so an example i will explain this is water one example in our day to day life this is one water above what here air is there and here one bird bird is watching the fish what the character of the bird bird is observer and what is object fish is object or source of light let's say s equal to source of light tell me from the source of light how many rays of light will come just imagine one normal light will fall on the interface like this this is called normal incident ray and draw one normal line and what is the angle between incident ray and normal line response ray angle between normal line and incident ray how much students angle of incident how much 0 degree only na say sir no this say sir no yes sir so what will happen then this is mu1 equal to 4 by 3 And mu two is equal to one. Where the object is immersed, where incident light there, that is our first medium. So I can use Snell's law of refraction. I can write one statement for normal incidents. For normal incidents, mu one into sine i is equal to how much? Mu two into sine r. Substitute mu one value four by three and into sine zero equal to mu two into sine r. And sine r value how much? Zero. So r equal to also zero here. Yes or no? The incident light travels from denser to rarer. What happens? Angle of refraction also zero. I mean. without any refraction it goes straight on yes or no am i clear or not clear yes sir one more inclined incident ray will fall like this and uh, you see the refraction of this to analyze the refraction this is the point of incidence p draw one normal line 
how the ray of light will bend away from the normal line only na am i right or wrong because whenever the ray of light traveling from a denser medium to rarer medium light ray will bend away from the normal line so what is this angle angle of refraction this is angle of incidence am i clear students watch the this is refracted ray number 1 this is refracted ray number 2 do they meet really so they do not meet really so the bird which is flying do not watch the real image of the fish why because the refracted light rays are not meeting really i'll write down that point bird watches bird watches virtual image only bird watches virtual image of fish bird watches virtual image of the fish so where that uh, image of the fish where the refracted light rays are apparently meeting there virtual image of the fish will form that is i prime i prime means what virtual image of the fish am i clear friends i will assume this point is something o what is this distance object distance u only na is my point clear every distance you have to measure from the interface yes friends is another important note another important note every distance very very important note every distance every distance should measure from should measure from where from interface is my point clear all of you so u is nothing but object distance where is the image distance v is nothing but what here students image distance with your permission shall i write on statement sense law mu1 into sin i is equal to mu2 into sin r shall i write up this is sir no this is mu1 this is mu2 i will write is my point clear Yes or no? And mu one into I am using small approximation rule. Instead of sine i, shall I write tan of i? You will ask me, sir, why are you writing like this? See the my answer. This is I mean this is also i, na? Third one. I know the opposite side. I know the adjacent side. That's what I am using tan i. Is my point clear? So tan i means just focus this right angle triangle. This right angle triangle tan i what I can write? Opposite side op by adjacent side os. Tan r what I can write? This is r means this is also r na. Yes sir no. See this small triangle. Tan r what I can write? Opposite side by adjacent side means b. O b o b cancels out. Am I clear? New one. What is O s is nothing but object distance equal to new two by b. B value how much turns? Sorry, this is O s. Tan r means. O prime, small correction. O I prime. O I prime is nothing but image distance. This is only called very important formula. I'm requesting everyone to remember compulsory to your fingertips. This is called refraction formula. It flat interface. 
refraction formula get the flat interface is valid for any interface operating with a denser rays to rarer medium or rarer medium to denser medium am i clear i'm requesting everyone to remember permanently at your fingertips my point clear very easy to remember also am i clear all of you clear or not yes sir yes sir if you see the magnification also for example magnification magnification along x axis sorry y axis magnification along y axis one small example same same fish and bird uh, example only i will take let's say this fish is here fish is at a distance some y meter let's say the length of the fish is how much dy meter am i clear on where is the this is object o means what object where uh, image will appear here image will appear my dear friends this is the object distance x what is the length of that object dx am i clear dx is length of the object or fish distance of the object how much x meter am i clear or where uh, fish will appear my dear friends fish will appear somewhere here na correct or not i mean image of the fish i print we'll assume the image distance is y what length of the image dy my clear or not clear now tell me what the object distance when u is equal to minus x only no please say yes or no Yes, sir. Below the interface, na, I mean negative y axis, na, sir. U equal to minus x. What is image distance? Minus y only, na. Do you understand that this sign can only? Understood or not understood? Sir, please repeat, sir. Who is this? Rafia. Rafia. Where where is your confusion, ma? Tell me one second. Main convention only, sir. I told na this is the interface is your origin. This is your negative y axis. Upside is your positive y axis. X is uh, along the negative y axis only, no ma? That's what I should take minus. Yes, sir. And it's called Cartesian. I mean, in your max it is there, na? In your in standard cartesian sign convention very simple sign convention not a rocket science all all are clear clear up all are clear or not clear yes sir so you can write this is a mu one why i am taking as a first medium why because fish is my object so the incident ray is in the water medium only na that is my first medium and air is my second medium that judgment is important student that i will add a, one important note if you forget this four concept na if this get only entire refraction you will get answer but negative results will come the medium where incident ray is there the medium where incident ray is there where incident ray is there 
or object is present or object is present that is mixed medium that is first medium am i clear or not clear other medium is what here students other medium is the second medium other medium is second medium and other medium other medium is second medium other medium is what here second medium so you can write here snell's law what is snell's law friends tell me mu1 by u is equal to mu2 by v substitute mu1 value mu1 u value how much minus x and mu2 value mu2 only and v value how much minus 5 i want a magnification na no? what a magnification formula along y axis height of the image by height of the object na no? yes or no if yes or no height of the image is dy by dx i have to find so on either side what i should do I have to differentiate with respect to x or y and write down that point by differentiating by differentiating equation number 1 with respect to x with respect to what here x is my point clear so i can write mu1 differentiation of mu1 by x equal to how much differentiation of mu2 by y mu1 is constant i will take it outside or differentiation of 1 by x minus 1 by x square and uh, x you have to differentiate once again here also mu2 i will not touch or differentiation of 1 by y remember that trick to 1 minus 1 by square into dy by dx is my point clear all of you so i can write minus mu1 by x square equal to how much minus mu2 by y square and into dy by dx minus minus cancels out So what I can write here, dy by dx equal to mu1 by mu2 into y square by x square. This is a magnification strand. I am requesting everyone very important formula at your fingertips. So mu1 by mu2 into this is the image distance whole square by object distance. Am I clear, all of you? Okay. That's the magnification along the y-axis. As well as magnification along z-axis also. one small practice problem to you friends are you ready ah huh? one small practice problem this is one water what is the refractive index of the water is 4 by 3 i don't need to tell also one fish is there one fish means object na it is swimming at a depth of some 1 km from the interface and one bird is watching one bird is watching 
so um, my question is find the find apparent depth of the fish find apparent depth of the fish from interface every distance i told you we are measuring from interface so specifically i don't need to mention that Zero point seven five kilometers, sir. Zero point seven five kilometers. Mustafa, no? Muhsin, sir. Muhsin, sorry. Muhsin. How many of you supporting Muhsin? Same technique you have to use. Yes, sir. Zero point seven five. Same thing now. The real depth of the fish is nothing but object distance. The real depth of the fish is nothing but object distance small u. So image of the fish is here it will form now. That's only apparent depth or image distance. Your apparent depth equal to how much? Image distance v. So, what is mu one value? Four by three. Mu two value how much? One. What is formula? Mu two by v equal to mu one by u. Substitute mu two value. One by v equal to mu one value how much? Four by three into. What is the object distance? One kilometer. And v value how much here? Three by four. I mean what here? Point seven five kilometer. Is my point clear, friends? <coughs> Correct or not? So, actually, the real depth of the fish is one kilometer, but bird will feel that. Uh, It is not one kilometer. It is point seven five kilometer. Am I clear, all of you? Yes or no? So, if length of the fish is next question, if length of fish is if length of the fish is uh, one meter, find. Length of image of the fish. Find length of image of fish. Try that. Any idea? Which concept you have to apply? Are you trying? Ah, should give hint. Ah, I will give the hint. Hint to this form. Magnification along y-axis how much? Mu one by mu two into e square by u square. I mean. The height of the image or length of the image by length of the object is the hint.
everyone i am requesting don't sit idle so we are highly intelligent we are turning off the camera okay why i have to waste my energy don't feel like that you have to maintain challenging attitude Should be aggressive arrogant in problems please try seriously and tell me on gave the hint just to putting my alis on Zero point seven four. Zero point seven four. So height of the image of the fish or length of the image is zero point seven four. Sir, seven fifty meters. Seven fifty meters. Ma, I mean one one kilometer it appears. Zero point four two one into ten four minus six meters. Zero point four two one. Ah, oh. into ten power my six. Who said this answer? Point seven four. Ten power six, sir. Mostly, sir. Ten power six, sir. Hmm. My turn. You no know, height of the image by height of the object equal to how much? Mu one by mu two into image distance whole square by object distance whole square. So height of the object I will take this side. What a mu one value? Four by three. And mu two value is one. What a image distance? Point seven five divided by One object distance one no. Yes or no? And whole square. What a height of the object I have given? One meter I have given. So four by three into this one how much? Seventy five by hundred whole square. Four by three into seventy five means what? Twenty-five threes are twenty-five fours are three by four whole square means nine by sixteen. Four ones are four fours are three ones are three threes are three by four meter. For the answer, point seven five meter. Give a big round of applause for Musim. Why are point seven four game? Sir, I took seventy-five squares. Oh, anyway, good draw. You should. Use this technical strand only with the cancellation only you have to do. Sir, okay, sir. Ah. Sir, that zero point seven five is in kilometers, no, sir. Kilometer, kilometer cancels, no. Sir, meters, sir. Meter. Length of the fish in meters, no, sir. Ah, so the answer also we got in meters. This is no units magnification, no units. Only this meter only will come. This is kilometer. This is kilometer cancels now. Like this. Understood? Understood or not understood? Sir, length of the fish is one meter only. Ah, uh, one meter only. See, ma, height of the image equal to what is the formula? Mu one by mu two into Image distance by object distance whole square into height of the object. Now, you want to know how much? Four by three into one. What is image distance? Point seven five kilometer by object distance is one kilometer whole square. Height of the object how much? One meter. Kilometer kilometer cancels out. You get the answer in meter only, na? Yes, sir. Okay. If you got any confusion, you have to use like this. Do the method like this. Am I clear, all of you? I mean, the bird will feel that uh, the fish is very smaller size, so I can eat. Uh, 
two fishes like that. Okay. One more problem. Are you ready? Huh? Are you ready, students? Are you ready? I'm saying, are you ready? This is one interface. Now, what is our object? What is our object? Who is watching the bird? Fish is observer. Fish are one man immersed in water. Fish is observer. This is object. I mean fish. Sir, fish is observer. Am I clear? Now the height of the bird from the interface, the height of the bird is one kilometer. How many kilometer? One kilometer. I mean, if real height of the bird is, if real height of bird a bird from interface from interface is 1 kilometer then find the find apparent height of the bird apparent height of bird apparent height of bird observed by fish One point three three kilometers. One point three three. One point three three kilometers. Same, sir. Sir, one point three three kilometers, sir. Okay. One point three three kilometer. One point three three kilometer. Same answer, huh? Yes. Sir. So my turn, students. So this is a bird is object, na? So this is object distance u. What object distance u equal to? Plus one kilometer. I don't need to explain why plus. We have to find the image distance. Tell me what is the mu one here? This is only real height, na? Object distance is only called real height. Am I right or wrong? What is mu one value now? What is the mu one value? I'm asking you what is the mu one value? One, one sir. U1 value where object is immersed, that is our first medium. Other medium is 4 by 3. So, what a formula? Mu1 by U is equal to mu2 by V. 
U1 value how much? One divided by, and the U value how much? Object distance is one kilometer. U2 value how much? Four by three into V. So V value is nothing but four by three. <coughs> how much? One point three three meters. Sorry, kilometer. I mean, the fish will feel that. Fish will feel that body is very far distance, so it will be very careless. This is a object, and this is the image of the bird. Am I right or wrong? Actual height of the bird is one kilometer, but uh, fish will feel that image is one point three three kilometer. That's what. Fish is very slow. What do we feel that? What bird will feel? Actual depth of the bird is one kilometer. But uh, bird will feel that image of the fish is point seven five only, na? In the earlier problem, I we proved or not? That's what bird is very haste. Fish is very slow. So that's what, according to nature, bird eats eats fish. If reverse means, fishes eats birds in other planet. Correct or wrong? Are you understanding, my student? Fishes won't eat birds, sir. Will eat, na? Yes, sir, no. According to our nature of this planet, Earth planet, bird will feel that uh, fish is very very near. If I do not run, if I do not uh, move fast, it will escape. It will feel. But what fish notices? Fish become very slow. Why? Bird is very far, but actual height is one kilometer only. But bird will feel that. One point three three kilometer, so it goes very slowly. Am I right or wrong, friends? That's what fish become prey for bird. Reverse means reverse means what will happen? Fishes will eat birds. Are you understanding? Ah, is my point clear or not? Now you will let us see the speeds. Ten minutes extra, I will take students. Okay, no problem, na. No? Why? Because this full concept will be over. Okay, ten fifteen minutes extra, I will take. It is interesting also. For suppose, for suppose the same example. Here, fish is object. Fish is object. Let's say velocity of the object is five meter per second. And uh, bird is there. I will assume bird is in the state of rest. Is bird in the state of rest? Or suppose, then what bird will feel? Find the speed of the find speed of the fish with respect to bird. With respect to bird, my point clear. For that, I will assume this distance is, let's say, y here, or something x. Where the image of the fish will appear? Tell me for bird. Bird will feel that this is the image of fish, na? No? What the distance? Tell me. Three by four x. X by mu only, na? No? Remember the trick. Real depth of the fish is x means. Real depth of the fish is x meter means. 
What apparent depth of the fish? Remember that technique. X by mu. It's a very time saving trick. I will assume, I'll assume this distance is, I mean, from interface, the board height is, I will assume y. Now tell me, uh, what is the position of the board? What is the position of the fish with respect to board? <coughs> Where fish will feel that? Where fish will feel that uh, position of the, or where bird will feel that position of the fish? Fish is the distance y plus x by mu only, no, my dear friends. This yes or no? Say yes or no. This, yes, is, this is position of the bird. This is position of bird, or position of fish. With respect to, with respect to word. But which are variable? Y is constant, but X only changing. No? Am I right or wrong? All are changing only. So I will differentiate on both sides with respect to Differentiate. Differentiate with respect to time. I mean, if you differentiate on both sides, so what will happen? <laughs> to differentiate on either side. What will happen? D by dt of xfb and plus dy by dt plus 1 by mu, I will take it outside and dx by dt. What is the displacement by time is nothing but velocity of the fish with respect to the bird only, you know? I told you y is constant only, you know? bird is in the state of rest, no. So there is no displacement of the bird, zero I can write, and plus one by mu into, what is this dx by dt is nothing but velocity of the fish only, you know? so here velocity of the fish with respect to bird, is velocity of the fish by mu. What a velocity of the fish is? Tell me, students. Plus phi only, no? Y plus phi. This is positive y axis only, no? So substitute phi by mu value, how much? 4 divided by 3. So what a velocity of the fish with respect to birds? 15 by 4. 4 ones are 4. These are 12. Four seven are twenty eight and four five are. So now tell me what is velocity of the fish with respect to bird? Three point seven five meters per second. Are you understanding? But actually velocity of the fish is five meters per second. But uh, what bird will feel? Um, fish is traveling with uh, only three point seven five meters per second. I hope you all understood very nicely. Is my point clear? Huh? Yes, sir. Shall I, ask, shall I ask one more question? Now listen carefully. This is your neat problem only. Based on my memory, I am giving. This is the bird. This is the fish here. Velocity of the fish is 5 meters per second and velocity of the bird is also 5 meters per second. My question is very simple and very straight. Find velocity of the fish. Find velocity of fish with respect to bird. To take your own time, students, and then after that, I will ask one more question. <laughs> Do paper.
So same thing, I will assume the, this is some y meter, I will assume this is x meter, where fish will appear, this is a fish position, what a fish distance, x by mu only, no? Same answer, sir. Hmm. So I can write one statement, position of the fish with respect to the board, how much? Board will feel that. You see that y plus x by mu only, no? Yes or no? So if you differentiate on either side, like this, you can differentiate. dy by dt plus 1 by mu, I will take it outside, and dx by dt. What does this tell me? This is velocity of the fish with respect to bird. What does this dy by dt tell me? Change in position of the bird means velocity of the bird plus 1 by mu into what is dx by dt? Velocity of the fish only now. This is a suitable form. <coughs> what a velocity of bird tell me now? Velocity of bird is minus phi, no? You say yes or no? Why I am taking minus phi? Bird is moving in the downward direction, no? You say yes or no? Understood or not understand? Mean value how much? 4 by 3. What the velocity of the fish? Plus 5. What your answer? Minus 5 plus 3. 5 is 15 by 4. You take the LCM 4. And minus 20 plus 10 means minus 5 by 4 meters per second. I mean, bird is feeling that now, bird is feeling that fish is not coming upside, it's going, fish is going downside. Why downside? You got answer negative now. Bring it up. With the 5 by 4 means what? 1 point to something. Are you understanding, strand? Please say yes or no. Yes, sir. Now, one question of the day to you. In the same problem, question of the day, don't be haste. It is physics students. Understood? To show your IQ. So find the same problem, the same problem, the same problem. Find velocity of the <clears throat> bird with respect to fish. Okay. Take your own time and WhatsApp me. Thank you. Bye. Take the screenshot of this question. Take it as a challenge. Physics uh, is not that much easy. It should uh, be very challenges attitude. Okay. Don't think casually. Okay, bye. We'll see you in the center.